Good morning, guys. I'm back in Brisbane today. It's, what is today, Friday? <laughs> Bailey. I've got a very special friend that you guys might remember. You gonna say hello? Ow! Nita's gonna jump on my lap. Of course you are. Um, today, Bailey's getting a haircut, and I feel like I need a haircut as well, actually. Can I get a haircut as well? I don't know. You need to shush. Oh, you need to do business. Okay, well, let's let's go do some business then. All right, I'll be back. Is that where we're going? Is that where we're going for haircut? I think so. Oh, wow. Avocado on toast, coffee. Oh, and your haircut. What did they do to your tail, Bailey? You look like you've been a little duster. Your haircut is very gorgeous. So handsome. Wait. You're so handsome. This is so good. Look at my hair. I didn't get a haircut either, did I? I was supposed to. Next time. So I've been waiting all day. Well, I shouldn't really say that. I've just been lazy. But um, all day I've been going to go to the supermarket and grab a few bits and pieces. But it's been so bloody hot. Crazy. Australia's just so crazy hot at the moment. It's insane. But um, now that the sun's starting to go down a little bit, it's cooled off a little. And um, I can make my way there now. Finally. It's too hot to do anything. Why are dogs bad dancers? Because they have two left feet. <laughs> Anyways, it's the next day now in case you couldn't tell. I had a bit of a shave as well. I was I was desperately overdue. Still haven't had that haircut yet. I still this is out of control. I think I just want to do like a buzz cut and just like get rid of the whole thing. But I did try that a few years ago and I remember I was mortified when I got home and I was really hesitant to leave the house for like two or three days afterwards because my hair was so short so yeah maybe maybe I'll just do the short maybe I'll just do the usual maybe I'll just look a bit respectable I can't remember if I was telling you guys or not but I'm back in Brisbane now um, I've been back a few days and I'm planning on staying here for another like say two weeks um, Brisbane's home for me like it's pretty much base camp um, and at the moment I'm just spending time with my dog and and tidying up around the house, just boring stuff like that. I've been editing heaps of videos for my main channel. Um, I've got like four or five videos lined up for the next few weeks, which is fantastic. That feels like such a weight off my shoulders. Um, and I've got like the proper videos from my uh, trip down south that you guys saw last week. Um, and also a, like a, a long weekend that I had late last year in Byron Bay. Um, which is in the beach, really beautiful area of Australia. And um, I managed to make a little video of that. So I'm really, really excited. I've, I've definitely been pumping myself into my blog and YouTube and stuff these last couple of days. But um, I'm really excited. I haven't booked my tickets yet, so I shouldn't make like a big announcement thing. But I'm going to. I'm going to New Zealand. I'm going to New Zealand. It's next on my list. This year I had plans to do like Asia. Um, Indonesia, Thailand, I'd love to go over to like Vietnam, Cambodia. If I could make my way to like Japan or Korea or something, I think that I'm, I would like to be able to get a job teaching English and that way I can spend like six months or, or X amount of time traveling around Asia. Um, hopefully get like a teaching job because I've been doing a bit of research and I think it's something that I might be able to do. I could apply for some jobs and see what they say anyway. But um, I'd like to travel around Asia for like six months or so, get somewhere and then get a job and save up some more money to continue traveling. And that was my very, very loose plan for this year. But uh, my friend Christina, you might remember her from my India videos and South American videos. She is in New Zealand at the moment and um, I'd love to go and visit her. And I mean, New Zealand is on my to-do list. It, it's probably not like right up the top. I had like a lot of other bits and a lot of other places that I wanted to visit first and I know if I get Asia or India or somewhere like that my money would go further I know that I could live quite cheaply there and um, that's not the case for New Zealand New Zealand is quite expensive like cost of living like groceries public transport accommodation etc it's it's 
it's on par with Australia, like expense wise. But um, I've got the opportunity to go there and I've got a friend that's there. So if something goes wrong or I'm lost or I'm crying in the middle of the night or something, there's someone there to rescue me. And um, I want to check out New Zealand anyway, so, so why not? I'm planning on flying from Brisbane to Auckland. Um, and I think I, Auckland's the biggest city in New Zealand. I don't know a terrible lot about New Zealand, but I know that I would spend quite a bit of time in Auckland. Um, I know that I'd like to visit the capital, Wellington. And on the South Island, I think, don't laugh at me if I'm wrong here, on the South Island, the big city is Christchurch. And there's other places like Queenstown, and there's definitely lots of other towns. And I've got a few friends from, from the last few years that live in New Zealand that I'd love to catch up with as well. Um, and yeah, I'd love to explore New Zealand. I think I would have to be out of there before winter. So winter down here in the Southern Hemisphere is like May, June, July, August. It's the opposite to, to you US Americans and, and English and whatnot. Um, I'd have to be out of there before winter. So I'm guessing before winter I'd probably try and get back up to Thailand or whatnot. I'd come back via Brisbane, via Australia to get my uh, visa. But yeah, that's my exciting announcement. I haven't booked anything yet, but um, I should get onto that, shouldn't I? I really should. I might call the vlog off here, guys, because nothing really exciting is happening this week. I'm in Brisbane. It's a billion fucking degrees. I'm melting. I can only really go outside. Like it, it's like it's like four thirty, five o'clock in the afternoon. Um, and there's nothing else really exciting happening. I'll go. I'll keep you guys updated for sure on my plans. And um, please, please check out my main channel, G'day Mate John. I'll put the link down below. And I'm super, super excited for these videos that are coming out in the next three or four weeks. I hope you enjoy them too. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye.